The following table shows the number of U.S. cell phone subscribers in millions for years since 1995. So the first column gives the number of years since 1995, and the second column gives the number of subscribers in millions. One way to analyze the data would be to create a scatter plot. A scatter plot would be a graph of the ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. And the scatter plot is shown here in blue, where the horizontal axis gives the number of years since 1995, and the vertical axis gives the number of subscribers in millions. So each ordered pair from the table corresponds to one point on the coordinate plane to form the scatter plot. And then we're told to let C of T be the number of US cell phone subscribers in millions in T years since 1995. A linear model for the data is given by C of T equals 18.997T plus 17.711. And C of T is graphed here in black. And notice how the linear model fits the data well because all the points on the scatter plot are very close to the black line. And therefore, the linear model could be used to make predictions about the number of subscribers in a certain year. And notice in this example, we're given the linear model. In the next example, we'll be using the TID4 to perform linear regression to come up with the linear equation. So looking at our first question below, we're asked to use the scatter plot to decide whether the linear model fits the data well, and we can visually see that it does fit the data well, and therefore the function is a good model for the data. So because it is a good model, we can now use the function c of t to make predictions. So the next question is to estimate the number of subscribers in the year 2016. We need to be careful here. We do not use t equals 2016 to make this prediction, because remember t is a number of years since 1995. So for the year 2016, the value of t would be equal to the desired year of 2016 minus the base year of 1995, which is equal to 21. So to determine the number of subscribers in 2016, or to estimate the number of subscribers, we need to find the function value c of 21. So we'll substitute 21 for t, which would give us 18.997 times 21 plus 17.711. And let's determine this function value using the graphing calculator. So we'll enter 18.997 times 21 plus 17.711. Enter. So c of 21 is equal to 416.648. But remember, C of t is in millions, and therefore the estimate for the number of subscribers in 2016 is 416.648 million. Next, we're asked to use the model to predict the year in which the number of subscribers will reach 333 million. To answer this question, we need to determine the value of t that would give the function value c of t equals 333. So we know c of t is equal to 333. So substituting 333 for c of t would give us the equation 333 equals 18.997t plus 17.711. So we'll solve this equation for t and that will give us a number of years since 1995, and then from there we'll determine what year that would be. So to solve for t, we first would subtract 17.711 from both sides. Simplifying, this would be 0, so we have 18.997t equals this difference, and 333 minus 17.711 is equal to 315.289. Last step to solve for 2 be to divide both sides by 18.997. Simplifying, on the right side, this quotient is 1. 1 times t is t. And therefore, t is equal to this quotient. And 
0.289 divided by 18.997 is equal to approximately 16.597. which means the prediction is the number of subscribers will reach 333 million approximately 16.597 years since the beginning of the year 1995. So we don't want to round this to 17 and then add that to 1995 because t equals 16 corresponds to the beginning of the year 1995 plus 16, which equals the beginning of the year 2011 and t equals 17 corresponds to the beginning of the year 1995 plus 17, which is a year 2012. Which means if t is greater than or equal to 16 and less than 17, then that would be sometime in the year 2011. And so because our value of t is in this interval, we'll make the prediction that in the year 2011, the number of subscribers will reach 333 million. I hope you found this helpful.